and welcome to my first video. Today in this video I will be showing you a time-lapse progression of taking a MacBook Pro 2012 apart and upgrading the internals. And here we go! Okay, here we are. We are removing the eight screws from the bottom plate of the MacBook Pro. There are three longer screws that belong towards the back hinge of the computer and that is the only place of the computer that they belong so remember to put them back where they belong so after removing the bottom plate we are exposed to all these internal components we got the fan we got all these accessories okay then we have the 512 gigabyte ssd we'll be upgrading to we have the ram 16 gigabytes and we also have the dvd drive uh first we are going to be working on the ram just popping those retention lowers out and releasing the old RAM, the 4 gigs, and then upgrading to the 16 gigabytes of 1333 megahertz DDR3 RAM, OWC brand. There we go, easy as that. Next, we will be working on removing any ribbon cables that will be preventing anything else to be removed, such as the hard drive and the DVD drive. We are removing the center bracket that is right there by the hard drive two screws hold that in there's the 500 gigabyte 7200 rpm hard drive moving parts is a problem it's going to make the operating system go ugh, really really slow as you can see the old hard drive and the new ssd do have the same in SATA interface so any adapters will not be needed so on the bottom on the right hand corner of the screen you will see that there are screws that hold the outside part of the hard drive in to keep it from moving around. There are two screws on each side, which you need to be popping back onto the SSD. Right now, we are working on removing the ribbon cable, basically loosening it up a little bit there so it can allow us to remove the DVD drive. The DVD drive has three little screws that are holding it in. Because this is a very tightly fit computer, all the components are pretty much next to each other with almost no room to give. You have to be very careful and the screws are very, very small. As you can see, we remember to take out the old ribbon cable that connects the DVD drive to the motherboard and we pop that onto the new one. Then we slide carefully slide the DVD drive, the new DVD drive into the computer. Remembering where all the screws go. This is not the best example. As you can see, guys, where your how you put your screws on the table and that it should be kept in a container. But because I have done this so many times, I can basically remember where each screw belongs, including the size and the thread and the different head size. Um, as you can see, I am carefully putting the DVD drive back into the computer. There are three screws, like I said, that hold the DVD drive in place. This is not a uh, Blu-ray player, by the way. This is a 2012 MacBook Pro, so it's nothing like super fancy schmancy. Uh, as you can see, the RAM and the SSD are in place. I also had to remove the screws from the a fan that you see on the computer which cools the CPU. After we get the screws back in onto the DVD drive we are placing the screws that hold the speaker unit in as you can see right there on the left hand side we are putting everything back nice and snug. You want to make sure that everything aligns first perfectly and that and everything fits well, you do not want to force anything in, especially with these delicate plastic components. And the plastic components, I'm talking about the speaker housing and the Wi-Fi housing for the, uh, t the towards the hinge of the computer. We are securing the DVD unit and the SSD unit in place. We are plugging in the ribbon cables next. After we carefully tighten these screws down that help keep the speakers and the CPU fan in place. There are three three screws that hold in the fan. They're about like five, 
three or four screws that hold in the speaker and you have to make sure that you get the right you you keep the right length for each screw for the right part so double check that the wiring is good put the back plate back on and we're good to go now when you start the computer back in because it is a unformatted SSD and it's a Mac you hold down command R for an internet recovery you can either do this using Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable and with that your Mac OS operating system will be installed you have to format the drive under disk utility first and then you have to choose a destination drive and then you'll be good to go to install Mac OS which the current one is Catalina on the date of this video so thank you for watching guys please comment rate subscribe and like that video for for more time-lapse videos don't forget to hit that bell icon for any future uploads and I will see you later bye for now